Now one of the most common updates that you might uh, need to do, especially in the early stages of your website, is to add additional pages to it. So for instance, I'm going to pull up my index here. Uh, let's say that as you're working on this classroom website, you decided that you wanted to uh, have another page uh, called resources where you're going to put um, uh, list maybe some links to some websites that you thought might be valuable for your students to access. So I need another page in this in this site. Um, and so if you remember each page is an HTML file. So I'm going to add another one of those first. I'm going to come into my HTML folder here and either right click or if you're on a PC you can right click on top of that HTML folder. If you're on a Mac you just hold down the control key and click and you get a little pop-up menu and I'm going to choose new file and I'll just name this resources.html. Okay, so we get that named there. Let me just pull it over so you can see the whole name. All right, so I've got a new page called resources.html. I'm going to close the index. And if I open up that resources page, it exists over here, but it's blank. So I would like this to look like all the other pages of my website, so I need to apply the template to it. Uh, so to do that, the, the method I like, I'm going to switch to the Assets tab and click on the Templates button, the second one up from the bottom down here on the side menu. I should see a little preview of my template. Uh, I'm just going to uh, drag and drop from this preview area, drop it onto the page, and now I've got a new page called resources.html and it has the template applied to it. So. Um, just type in a little title here so I know that, that this page really exists and I'll save those changes. Okay, so now I've got my new page and I have the template applied to it, but I haven't given my visitor any way to get to this page. Um, so I need to make a link somewhere, and in this case I'd like to add this a link here to my main menu across the top. Okay, so maybe hereafter it says, uh, um, of documents. Maybe right there I want it, after documents I want it to say resources and then say contact me. So that area, if I try, I'm on the resources page right now, if I go in and try to edit that it says you can't edit that because that area is controlled by the template. Alright, so let me close this uh, resources page. I don't need it open right now. And I'm going to go open up my template folder and close that HTML folder. And there's my template. Double click on it to uh, get it open. And now I can't, this is an editable region. So I'm going to come up come up here after documents. You see I have a little vertical line in there. Maybe right after that vertical line I'm going to click um, and push the space bar, type resources, and oh, got a little typo there, sorry. Type resources, a space, that vertical line again, which is shift backslash. I'll put that vertical line in another space. So now I have this new uh, entry here on my menu. And then I just need to link it up. So I'm going to carefully select just the word. Um, let's see, I got a little air down here. Okay, there we go. Just taking a minute to open up. Okay, so. I'm going to carefully highlight, highlight the word resources, uh, come down to the properties bar. So the property bar here, um, remember there's a couple of options here, HTML or the CSS toolbar. So I need to be on the HTML section of this. And if I come along, I'll see there's a link field right here kind of in the middle and a pointer. Let me open up my HTML folder. So come down there. Uh, there's my link field, come out to the end, and there's a pointer there that I can just click and drag and point right to the resource.html file, and that will create the link. Uh, I can see the pathway that it wrote down there, which is nice, and if I click off of it up here, I can see that it uh, has created a link there. All right, so I've made that change to the template, so I've added a link onto the template, and I would like my template now to go out to my seven pages and add that entry to each one of those. So all I have to do to get that to happen is do File, Save, and my template recognizes that I have seven pages that it's been applied to, and so it's going to go find these seven pages and update each one of them. And it does it plenty fast, which is nice, so it found seven and it updated seven. Close that, 
All right, so uh, let me just close the template here. I'd like to test it to make sure that it worked. So I'm going to go back to my index, open up the index file, and this is the one I'd like to preview in the browser. Let me just pull that over. Okay, so there's my index or my home page. I can see on this page the resources is showing up, so I can click on it to make sure it works. And I'm on the resource page, and I just want to hit a couple other pages quick to make sure that, that resource link got applied to all of the pages in my little website right now. Okay, so they're on my local my local copy of my website is uh, working. Now um, I need to get these updates up onto the internet or I need to publish them. So this is another perfect spot to use the synchronize command. Uh, so I'm just going to use this little menu right here. I'm going to uh, connect first to my host and if I come along down this uh, toolbar I can find the synchronize button which is that blue and green circular arrow icon. Click on that and it says well what do you want to synchronize? I need to make sure that I synchronize the entire site meaning, meaning it's going to check my whole site and I want to put newer files to remote. I just have to click preview. Um, it just compares these two copies of the uh, my website, my local copy and the remote copy, and it says, "All right, well, you've got this set of documents that needs to be uploaded or updated, and there's just eight of them, which sounds just about right." Now I'm going to click OK, and there they go. They just uploaded, um, and I'd like to check quick to make sure that they really got there. So I'm going to go out to the URL of this practice site. There it is. Um, there's the online or the live version of my website. And I can see that the resources link is there. I can select it. And that page um, has been updated. I want to just hit a couple other pages quick to make sure that the resource page really got to all those pages and all of them really got uploaded. And sure enough, um, it looks good. So that's the process of uh, adding a new page to your website and updating the template.